welcome back to my channel so i'm very nervous and overwhelmed today because i have to do this speech and it's dedication speech so i have to do it to like you have to bring someone into the class and i'm bringing my dad in so yeah he's coming in like three hours to my class and i'm the first one doing it and i'm very scared because i did not sign up to be the first one to do it like i signed up like halfway down the like sign up thing and no one decided to sign up before me so i'm going first and i'm very nervous and overwhelmed so we're just gonna practice for like a second we're gonna go over it it's supposed to be four to five minutes and mine's only like like two minutes but that's okay you know you're supposed to dress up too so that's why i look like really nice today and i think i look really pretty so hopefully that like boosts my confidence and when i get up there i'm like bam like ready to go you know once i get up there i'm gonna be like so scared so it's not gonna be as good as it is right now how do i put in words the enormous gratitude i have for you dad you are always there for me and always have my back even when i make stupid decisions you are always or you always believe in me and push me towards my dreams you are very understanding always want the best for me and always are there to make me laugh from the hunting trips volleyball and basketball trips and just family vacations in general will always be a core memory with you you are always so happy to watch me do anything i enjoy especially sports and you don't miss any of them i always think of how sad it is that this is my last year living with you and the rest of our family but i will come home once in a while and make you homemade chocolate chip cookies because those are your favorite i always appreciate that you always want to hear about my day and how practice went my day never goes by that i don't feel loved by you Thank you for always watching or wanting to watch movies with me, spend time with me, talk with me, and just being an amazing person that I can look up to. A couple of memories that I will always cherish is every hunting season, we always have an amazing hunt, sprinting across fields trying to catch up to the elk. Or always going to the gym together, as well as the times you just sat on my bed and just told me you understood and gave me advice. You don't want anything more than for me to be happy. You will always stand up for me and always tell me I look beautiful when I dress up. I don't know if you remember this, but I always knew I could count on you when that one time when I was really young, we were riding the snowmobile by our house. We were going fast or something happened, hit a stump or something, I don't know. Sorry. But anyways, we both fell off and you held on to me making sure I didn't get hurt. Or another time, when me and Cameron were riding the razor by the house, and we hit the gas holder thing, and you and mom and Colton ran aside so you guys didn't die with us and left us not knowing what to do. LOL, thanks for that one. You always tell me goodnight and that you love me every single night. Everybody always says that they have the best dad, but I truly do. I hope this speech touched your heart because you touch mine every day. So yeah, that's my speech, and I'm pretty nervous, but we're gonna be fine. I usually am not that good at speeches and I like get really scared and like shy up there and like my words stutter but I feel like this time I'm like actually ready and I feel like I need to redeem myself because this is the last speech of the class we need to go inside because I'm gonna be late I'm late every single day to my first class and my teacher is probably gonna be upset but this is the last day of the semester we got it Corey we got it so I just did my speech and I'm very proud of myself. I thought I did really good. I got an 89 out of 100, I think. But that was like the best speech I've ever done because I actually like looked up and like, actually like, I don't know. I just think I presented it really well. And my dad is really happy. So that makes me happy. So I'm very proud. I have practice later tonight at like what, or what time do I have it? I think I have at 3.30 till 5.45. So we're gonna go to that and then I'm also picking up Chantel after school. So we're gonna go do something and then we're gonna go to practice and then I think me and Will are gonna go ice skating if the ice skating is open and if I get out at practice in time. It closes at seven, I believe. So if I get out at 5.45, then I'll be fine. I could just like go change and then we could go ice skating. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Hopefully we go. Hey guys. So we just got some Starbucks and I tried a new drink. This is Chantel's. We are starring Chantel today. Starring. <laughs> but I just tried a new drink and 
Um, it's what did what did I get? A iced matcha tea with two pumps of something. Two pumps of vanilla and coconut milk, and it tastes good. Yeah, I just got a raspberry matcha. I meant a vanilla matcha because they've been at a raspberry for like months now. They have. Yeah. Have you came here? Yeah. <laughs> Ready we also got Corey some is... Aquaphor because yeah. she's been complaining about her lips being dry. Mm -hmm. Every so, practice, yeah. I have to have chapstick. One, two, two three. Oh my god! Wait. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> One, two, three. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> We're going into practice. Yes, we we're gonna cry. Yeah, um, but yeah. it's pregame, so hopefully mm. it's easy. I don't think it will be. Yeah, but we're praying under God's will, hopefully. So we'll see you guys after practice. Toodles. Ta ta. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, guys. <laughs> we are going ice skating. <laughs> it is very cold out here. And they got hockey. They got hockey um ones and I got regular ones. Yeah, we'll say it was his first time ever ice skating. So we'll see. Do you think you're gonna be good? I used to be a figure skater. I just told him that he never won before. Just kidding, guys. He's a figure skater. My grandma did it. I am. I got bumped up and we lost the saddle. Really? Oh my. Were you playing? You're pro at skating? Yeah. Me too. I can do a twirl, guys. I can do two twirls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Hopefully, I do not fall because I am very scared. Guys, this is scary. Come on, honey, buddy. And she's good at ice skating. Right? I need one of those little freaking. I need one of these. That's what I need. Yeah. Guys, if I fall, I'm gonna cry. That's gonna hurt so bad. Oh, why are you going so bad? I bet you never went skating before. Wait, you're pro, huh? <laughs> I'm pro. I used to be a figure skater. you have to do you're gonna push off so you're gonna kind of like square off and then you're gonna go and then you're gonna go this way
Okay, I'm gonna show you my twirl. I do. Mine or his? We are taking a break because it is very cold. My face is so pink and red because it's cold. So I didn't fall inside the rink, but once I got out of it, I literally fell and it hurt so bad. And yeah, so, but we are okay, but it, we only have like 10 minutes left, so I need to go and skate. We're just gonna close in 10 minutes.